We embark on our journey with the wizard stumbling upon a fascinating category of magic labeled homogeneous mixtures. This involves concocting a potion where all the elements fuse seamlessly that it manifests as a singular. Consider the spectacle of blending a sprinkle of lunar dust and a droplet of tears from a mythical unicorn in a cauldron, resulting in a solitary, luminous fluid. Homogeneous mixtures can take many forms, such as solutions, colloids, and suspensions. For instance, a solution would be like blending sugar into hot tea. It gives the illusion of the sugar vanishing into thin air, but in reality it's well mixed to the point of invisibility. A colloid could be compared to milk, where tiny fat droplets are dispersed throughout the liquid, but don't separate. A suspension, like orange juice with pulp, has larger particles that eventually settle down if left undisturbed. The wizard, to break down this magic, would have to employ a technique known as distillation, comparable to boiling the potion until each ingredient vaporizes and can be collected separately. The intriguing characteristic of these mixtures is the Tyndall effect, where the tiny particles in colloids or suspensions scatter light passing through them, making a beam of light visible. Just as a brilliant ray of sunshine pierces through a dusty room, the individual elements in the mixtures capture and scatter light, illuminating the wizard's path to unraveling the magic within. As the wizard's journey progresses into the second chapter, he encounters the intriguing phenomenon of heterogeneous mixtures. These mixtures are similar to a magical spell where you can distinctly observe all the different parts. A handful of diverse magic gems tossed in the air that hover together but maintain their perfectly represents these mixtures. To further elucidate, heterogeneous mixtures can be likened to a bowl of mixed cereal with various pieces that one can individually pick out. Heterogeneous mixtures come in varied forms such as solutions, colloids, and suspensions. For instance, a solution may be thought of as a potion mixed so well that all the components are evenly distributed. A colloid, on the other hand, is like a magical fog that contains tiny, unseen particles dispersed evenly throughout. Milk is a classic example of this. Suspensions are like a storm in magical globe, where larger particles are dispersed in a liquid or gas, but eventually settle down at the bottom, just like the sediment in a shaken vial of glitter. To separate the elements in these mixtures, the wizard could employ a method akin to filtration which is similar to using a net to ensnare the larger pieces, leaving the smaller ones untouched. This chapter also introduces the wizard to the Tyndall effect, a fascinating phenomenon that magically makes the path of light visible in a colloidal mixture. Just as a beam of sunlight becomes visible when it passes through a dusty room, the particles in a colloid scatter light, making it visible. This enchanting light show is yet another remarkable aspect of the wizard's adventure into the world of heterogeneous mixtures. In the third chapter, our wizard stumbles upon colloids. These are mystic concoctions that mimic the properties of solutions, colloids, suspensions in real-world chemistry. For example, think of solutions as a perfect potion made by a master wizard, where all the ingredients dissolve and distribute evenly, like salt in water. Suspensions, on the other hand, are like hastily made potions where the components don't dissolve entirely and thus settle at the bottom, like sand and water. Now colloids lay somewhere in between these two extremes. Imagine a foggy morning in the enchanted forest, where tiny water droplets mixed in the air but not evenly spread out. The same thing happens in milk, where tiny fat droplets are dispersed throughout, but not uniformly. The particles in colloids don't dissolve, but they also don't settle at the bottom, just like the dust particles floating in a beam of sunlight, an example of the Tyndall effect, where particles in a colloid scatter light, making the beam visible. To break the magic of colloids, our wizard would need a crafty trick like centrifugation, which is akin to spinning the mixture at high speed until the heavier parts gravitate to the outside and the lighter parts remain in the center. In this enchanting journey, we uncovered that mixtures are kind of like diverse types of enchantments. Some blend so well you can't discern the individual parts, like homogeneous mixtures or solutions, such as sugar dissolved in water. Others keep their individual parts visible, like heterogeneous mixtures or suspensions, like sand and water. 
and some are intriguingly in between, like colloids, think of milk or fog. These can scatter light showing the Tyndall effect, a phenomenon that can help distinguish between the types of mixtures. And akin to magic spells that can be reversed, mixtures can be separated back into their original ingredients using various methods like distillation, filtration, and centrifugation. So, the next time you dissolve sugar into your tea or pour milk into a glass, remember, you're not merely making a drink, you're concocting a magical potion, a mixture. And with the correct method, you can break them down back to their original state. This is the mesmerizing realm of mixtures, a place where magic and science meld seamlessly together.